After the impressive aerial demonstrations by the American F-35A Lightning II, two B-1B heavy bombers flew over the Yelohanka Air Force Station, on which US officials have said that it is a reflection of deeper strategic ties between the two countries. The Assistant Deputy Under Secretary of the US Air Force International Affairs Major General Julian has said that the B-1B offers flexible options to senior leaders and combatant commanders, and greater integration with our allies throughout the region is a positive step towards greater interoperability. Bharat Electronics Limited has announced that it will produce the 280 km range Israeli LoRa surface-to-surface missile system in India in collaboration with Israel Aerospace Industries. A Bharat Electronics Limited official has said that the LoRa missile has been designed for both land and naval-based applications, which have already been inducted into the Indian Navy. The LoRa missile follows a ballistic trajectory at supersonic speed to the target but can perform random or programmed in-flight evasive maneuvers to mitigate tracking and interception by enemy air defense system. Bharat Dynamics Limited has signed a memorandum of understanding with Thales for setting up manufacturing facilities in India, for Precision Strike FZ-275 70mm laser-guided rockets. Bharat Dynamics Limited will become a part of the global supply chain, and will offer 70mm laser-guided rocket solution for the existing helicopter fleet of advanced light helicopters and light combat helicopters. US firm General Atomics and Hindustan Aeronautics have jointly announced that HAL will provide maintenance repair and overhaul support for the TPE-331-10 turboprop engines of MQ-9B high-altitude long-endurance drones, for which General Atomics will provide special training and equipment to Hindustan Aeronautics. General Atomics has also signed an agreement with Bharat Forge, to manufacture main landing gear components sub-assemblies and assemblies of MQ-9B drones. New Space Research and Technologies is developing ultra-small guided bomb that can be dropped from unmanned aerial vehicles for precision targeting capabilities. New Space has not released more specifications, but it is under development to be used from short-range tactical UAVs or swarm drones, and the company has said that multiple versions will be developed. The Indian Army Chief has said that the Army is planning to order 95 Prachand light combat helicopters and 110 light utility helicopters that will enhance the profile of Army's combat aviation wing. He also said that one of the weapon systems to be integrated into the Prachand helicopter would be Helena anti-tank guided missile, and the Defence Acquisition Council has accorded approval for the procurement of 40 Helena launchers and missiles. Bharat Earth Movers Limited and CD Space Robotics Private Limited has unveiled a vertical takeoff and landing UAV at the Aero India 2023 that can carry a 5 kg payload and has an endurance of more than 6 hours. The UAV has undergone internal flight trials and will soon offer a customized variant to the Indian Armed Forces for user trials that can be used for border patrol and maritime intelligence surveillance and reconnaissance operations. GE Marine and Hindustan Aeronautics have signed a Memorandum of Understanding to explore the expansion of HAL's manufacturing capabilities to include assembly inspection and testing of the LM500 Marine Gas Turbine Engine. The 4.57 MW LM500 Marine Gas Turbine is made using corrosion-resistant materials for long life in a marine environment, and can be used in fast patrol vessels. Russian officials have said that Russia is keen to participate in the joint development and production of 1,770 future main battle tank for the Indian Army, and is ready to share technology of T-14 Armata next generation tank with India. Russian officials are confident that their Armata Universal Combat Platform will give the Army a potent deterrence against adversarial forces in high altitude and low temperature regions.